Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Astro Chase. This was created by First Star Software in 1982, but uh, converted into an arcade game for the Exidy Maxiflex cabinet in 1984. And the Maxiflex cabinet used uh, Atari computer cartridges from the uh, XL series of Atari computers. That would be the like the 400 and the 600 and the 800. But um, there were only four games for the Maxiflex cabinet. That was Boulder Dash, Astro Chase, uh, Flip and Flop, and Bristles. But um, this is, of course, Astro Chase. And see on the control panel, there's a timer. It's kind of like the uh, Nintendo Play Choice 10 cabinets. Your game is timed, and you need to put in more credits to continue your game. And there's a cartridge. And yes, the cartridges from the Atari XL series of computers, that same cartridge could be plugged into the Maxiflex cabinet and played. But um, back in 1982, this might have been kind of interesting for uh, a computer. Uh, you know, two years had passed when it was uh, put in the Maxiflex cabinet in arcades and was considerably less impressive at that point. Uh, this game was created by Fernando Herrera. And uh, it's to me, it's pretty dull. You uh, go up in space and uh, your spacecraft there moves around in in a uh, screen that scrolls around and it's and there's planet earth to your left there and uh, what you do is you try to protect earth from these mega mines that will try to approach the earth and destroy it whether you lose you uh, lose planet earth uh, lose a life by getting touched or shot by enemies or uh, run out of time, uh, whatever, you just lose one life. And, I mean, there is a an energy timer. When you run out of that, you lose a life. When you run out of the timer, you know, at the bottom center, you'll have to put in another credit. But uh, we'll get started here. Um... There will be the mines that you have to contend with. There will also be uh, UFOs that will try to attack you. They can't shoot, but they try to ram you. And you can shoot. And there will be little invincibility stations where you can be invincible for a short amount of time. And you will see little, little red circles that will indicate where the edge of the playfield is. We'll get started here. But see those those UFOs, and now I have now I have uh, invincibility on. It lasts for a little while. And uh, that thing that I just shot, that thing that I just shot was a space mine. And you need to make sure that you keep them from getting close to the Earth. And there's some more of them right there. The thing I dislike most, the thing I dislike most about this game are the controls. Your ship does not stop at all. It has to keep on moving. And that makes it really hard to, uh, to, uh, shoot down those mines, especially. Y you can see at the bottom of the screen how much of each, or near the bottom of the screen, how much of each are left to destroy. But you need to get rid of all the mines. And when you do, the game, the, uh, the level will end. I'm almost out of mines to destroy.
but yeah, the controls suck. You need a, you need double joysticks in this game, really. And I see that one, uh, that one mine that's left up there, and that's that. And now I go back home to a, uh, to an adoring crowd there. After this, it's generally, I think, every four levels until you see another cutscene. I mean, this is a cute idea for maybe 1982, but in 1984, it's pretty dull, in my opinion. But that's basically the gameplay. Just try to destroy all the uh, mega mines, keep them from destroying your planet. Keep, uh, keep looking out for them and destroy them when you got an opportunity, and those UFOs will come to you. You can actually lose energy by running into a planet, and your energy meter is the first one uh, in that yellow in that yellow bar there. I don't recall seeing this in in arcades. Ow! See, I, I guess I ran out of uh, energy. Yep, by running into that planet there. But yeah, destroy those uh, those space mines or those uh, mega mines as they call them. Oh, sorry about that. I I used a state of state and accident accidentally went back to it. But uh, we'll uh, we'll see if we can't beat this level. But yeah, those little that little thing is for brief invincibility. But yeah, this game is is not very good in my opinion. This was uh, this was featured in a movie called uh, Brother from Another Planet. But it's really not a very good game. Those red circles will indicate where the edge of the screen is, and you can't get past it. But your main goal should be whoops to destroy all those uh, space mines. But uh, the music is incredibly repetitive. It's the, uh, what's it, 1812 Overture, <coughs> 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. And it, it just repeats. Oh, now the uh, space mines are going to try to blow up the Earth. Oop. And I guess I uh, beat that level in time. What happened? The sound cut out and I just ran into a uh, UFO. Well, I guess my game is over there. But uh, I'm going to scoot ahead and show you uh, what it looks like for the Earth to blow up. <clears throat> and I've not been paying attention to any of the mines, so they're about ready to blow up the Earth. And there it goes. The Earth has been destroyed. But you still only, lo <clears throat> only lose one life. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this game. It, uh, it's definitely not good for 1984. We'll look at some of the uh, later cutscenes that you'll see in the game. Where is everybody? <laughs> and then uh, later on on one of the cutscenes you'll see an, an adoring crowd and then you also get a motorcade kinda cool but yeah this game is maybe ha <clears throat> had some sort of recognition in 1982 but for arcades in 1984 it's pretty uh... pretty crappy But uh, here's another uh, one where you miss the motorcade, and then there's dogs at the end of the uh, parade. <laughs> well, that was Astro Chase by uh, uh, First Star Software in 1982, and then for the Maxiflex arcade cabinet by Exidy in 1984.
This is Crazy Climb Ray saying thanks for watching. And I will catch you later in the future with another video. Y'all have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.